My name's Heather and I'm one of the dietitians at Longstreet Clinic Center for Weight Management. I'm here with Sheena, our other dietitian, and we're here to talk about roles of exercise and weight loss. So Sheena, one of the first, one of the most common questions that I get when I'm talking to patients is, how should I exercise and what kind of exercise should I do? It's a great, great question. Uh, exercise is a very important uh, part of your daily living and you really need to be able to have a good exercise plan, not just to lose weight, but to keep weight off as well. Um, it's important uh, to have um, a designated time to exercise each week. A lot of times people have a lot of intentions on, you know, working out, but you need an actual to set some goals around those areas, maybe three to five times a week for 30 minutes at what I usually say as tolerated, um, depending on where you are in your fitness um, abilities. Um, how much you should you do is, is, again, as tolerated. I think as you prepare and you lose weight, if we're speaking regarding weight loss, as you lose the weight, you're gonna be able to do a lot more exercise. Um, a big challenge for our culture today is sitting. I'm very passionate about helping pe people understand that um, sitting during the day is a very um, um, deadly thing. Um, you might do boot camp at five o'clock in the morning, but if you sit in front of a computer all day, you need to think about buying a standing workstation and standing up as much as you possibly can. And especially for our surgical patients, I think, because they hurt. Well, the one thing I know about our patients at Longstreet Clinic is when you're trying to lose weight, a lot of times we have these big expectations of them to do physical activity, but it's almost impossible because they hurt. Knees hurt, back hurts, they can't breathe. And this is why weight loss is needed so that you can get active. Um, in a body that is active is a body that will stay active. And a body that's moving is a body that will continue to move. But if we continue to be a sedentary society and sit, you're gonna see a lot more medical problems. So it's a very important part of your health and wellness journey, and especially for weight loss. Um, so Heather, um, this is a good question. Um, we get this a lot, which is better? Is it better to do a lot of cardio or is it better to just lift weight all the time? I think we need a variety of both. So having a good balance of both cardio and resistance exercises. And the cardio can be going out for a walk. Uh, it doesn't have to be running. It can be swimming, getting in the pool, doing some aerobic classes. Um, and then resistance exercises, it doesn't have to be throwing a lot of weights around. It can be anything like gardening, um, body weight exercises too. So having a good variety of both cardio for our cardiovascular health and then some resistance exercises helping to maintain lean muscle mass, strengthen our bones. You know, the core training, I think yoga, Pilates, there's so many different things that people can do today, 5Ks, warrior runs. Um, I'm a huge advocate of just walking because everyone can walk and it's free and you can do it anywhere that you go. And so walking is, is something I think that's really important as well as your gym, your pool. Um, I always say, do what you love. I mean, if you love to hike, go hike. If you like to play golf, play golf. If you like basketball, play basketball. Um, but you need to be standing up. You need to be moving every day. Um, and I believe the American College of Sports Medicine says five times a week for 30 minutes and two times a week for strength training and um, vigorous to um, as tolerated. So it's gonna depend on where you are with your journey. But there's lots, we could sit here all afternoon talking about exercise and the different types of exercise. Make an appointment with the Longstreet Clinic and we can help you lose weight, um, design an exercise plan for you and help you with your nutrition needs.